I think food and creativity and weed go completely hand in hand, like no doubt about it. I think it's, it's not about getting high necessarily, it's more about finding that like zone, that sweet spot where you're just like elevated and everything's like boom, 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 boom. And I, I think that having a good place to go daily for that is, uh, is really important. Once everybody rolls the bagels, we bring it to the kitchen. I'd say um, we make about 350 bagels, 400 bagels a day. All of our bagels go here to proof overnight, and that gives it the flavor. Fuck yeah, here we go, truck life. Greenie. It is 6.45. So what happens is the truck picks up everything here. They go to the stop. They set up for about a half hour and then we open. Everything's ready to go. And that's like a culmination of 16 hours of prep work. Maybe more actually. It's a big undertaking for a couple hours of retail. Being a business owner is fucking stressful. It's, I mean, I think I have like 12 employees right now. And there's so many times throughout the day that you could just like lose your mind and get overwhelmed. You can't overwhelm yourself, basically. The only way I'm able to do that is if I have low key vibes. Stoner is a vibe. It doesn't have to be this like couch locked thing. Damn. You, know, you gotta let people know uh, where they're getting fucking bagels from, you know? That's a fucking G ass breakfast. That ba that that bagel legend. Okay. So I got until 8:50 to be here. What up? We're gonna blaze. You're gonna have to shut down for a minute, then, unfortunately. Couple puffs here, couple puffs <laughs> there. Shit. We should light this up because I need it. Body heat. It's real windy right now, bro. I know. Say we have it later. No. If I have a lot of meetings during the day, I don't fuck with it in the morning because I get pretty stony quick. I can't do math or like proper fucking normal human shit during the day if I'm too blazed. So. But I definitely smoke every night before I go to sleep. If I have a lot of stuff going on, it takes the edge off a little bit. I think I'm good for another, another 2D. Um, people always tell me, how do you get so much done being such a stoner? You have to like know how to use it properly. You can't just get fucked up and like just sit around all day or whatever. Now that we're open and we've been doing it for a while, it's so clear to me that if you have a cool vibe and you have a good product, like you don't need anything else. It speaks for itself. We were starting out of our house and uh, right now it's like right at the cusp of growing out of our current kitchen. I always just think about three years, five years, 10 years ahead. I don't know what's gonna go down, but I'd love to see just like everybody getting a taste. Hi, I'm Evan Fox, CEO of Yeasty Boys Bagels. I guess CEO, that's such a dumb name for a bagel shop. I'm not running fucking Charles Schwab or anything, you know? But for bagels, it's pretty, it's pretty money.